the brave people of Niger have taken to the streets in mass protests which the world's media have chosen to paint as political. These protests are really against the economic slavery and puppet dictatorship of sub-Saharan Africa by the French Arava Corporation and other ruthless corporate entities. Arava is a French state-owned multinational which mines uranium in Niger, Gabon, Kazakhstan, the Central African Republic, Canada and elsewhere. They were the primary supplier of the most controversial material to Fukushima and they are a majority stakeholder in the genocidal biofuel firms of Brazil's Amazon. Niger received just 13% of the more than 3.5 billion euros. 2.9 billion pounds. The uranium from Arava Corporation's two Niger mines produced in 2010. Although mining made up 70.8% of Niger's exports in 2010, it contributed only 5.8% of the country's gross domestic product. Niger has the second largest underground uranium mine in the world and it is in the world's last place on the 2013 UN Human Development Index. More than 40% of Niger's children are underweight. Water and access to improved water sources is scarce. Almost three quarters of the population are illiterate. Millions of Nigerians live without electricity, education and health care. As we speak, Arava is attempting to negotiate a new contract with Niger and their bullying tactics continue. We demand Arava be as open and as fair as possible in negotiating a huge mineral contract with the world's poorest country. Niger is continually hit by droughts and floods. The uranium mines that come at the cost of radioactive contaminated land, water table depletion, and centuries of environmental pollution and health risks for the citizens of Niger should at least provide a secure economy that protects against disaster and provides basic services for its people. Instead, we see once more, highly secretive negotiations. French troops massing on the Niger border while citing terrorism, and the world's media depicting Niger in a state of political unrest instead of economic tyranny. Les analyses qu'on a pu faire montrent d'abord la persistance de la contamination en uranium. Sur 4 des 5 échantillons d'eau, la quantité d'uranium dépasse les recommandations de l'Organisation mondiale de la santé. Ensuite, la présence d'autres substances radioactives, dont le radon, qui est un gaz radioactif et qui est dissous dans l'eau. Et puis la pollution par des éléments chimiques, par exemple des nitrates, de l'ammonium, du molybdène, à des concentrations pour les nitrates et le molybdène qui dépassent là aussi les recommandations de l'OMS. Pourtant, ces eaux sont toujours distribuées aujourd'hui à la population et aux travailleurs pour leur consommation. Exposure to radioactivity can lead to serious health issues such as birth defects, leukemia and cancer. Arava Corporation also wishes to return to the nation of Gabon where it is easy to exploit the impoverished people with kickbacks to their corrupt. Op Gabon needs a shout out, President Bongo. Arava has been in the Central African Republic since 1958 leaving radioactive pollution, militias, poverty, desperation people with unknown diseases, broken promises for compensation and decapitated children in their wake instead of economic empowerment. From Japan's Fukushima to Brazil's Amazon, to the Sub-Sahara and soon the Arctic, everywhere we have seen Arava they leave desperation, death and poverty in their wake. While journalists have been content to shake their heads over corruption, dictators, or what they term ethnic unrest or religious conflict, there are no mainstream media reports on the economic destruction wreaked by Arava on these countries. Arava's image search shows no hint of the death, disease and destruction they are responsible for. Anonymous is issuing a challenge to the world's journalists. We want to read investigative reporting. 
we want less decapitated children and more reasons people are left desperate and warring in disease and poverty after these companies have pillaged all of their wealth. We want to hear these stories before children are decapitated. And we want to know the people responsible for these unequal and harmful trade agreements. Right now, we want to know about Arava. What are the terms of the secret deal they are offering to Niger? What is their human rights and environmental activity in Kazakhstan? What will be their impact in Nunavut? We want all the economic relationships between Gabon and France and we want the holdings in France of Gabon's President Bongo. Niger is already in an uncertain and tense state and Anonymous will not stand by while Arava unleashes the same hell we've witnessed in the Central African Republic, Gabon and Nigeria in Niger, corporate tyrants of the world. We are Anonymous. We are everywhere. We are Legion. We are those you have left without a home. We are those you have murdered. We are voiceless no more. The world will change. We'll change it. Corporate tyrants of the world, expect us. <laughs>